they say she get it from her mama. Mama say you fuck her right, your body do this bump like a dummy in the hall. But come tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go book tonight. I'm holding on, she slept her right. I just wanna live in a fantasy. For me? Mm -hmm. Ten Ten right? Yeah. We have nothing. It doesn't show anything. I have my boarding pass. What's Can I see it? it? Yeah. yeah. I put that on my mama. I literally have been gone for three weeks. Hello, my loves. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics. And I'm here with you guys today with a new weekly vlog. In case you guys are new here, if this is your first video, I am finally back home. Like, it's crazy to say it. It's crazy to see it. I'm happy to be back home, though. I will say that. I am. I miss my space. I miss my peace. I miss everything about my house. So I'm very excited to be back. But welcome to another video. If you guys are returning, thank you guys so much for clicking on yet again another video. If you guys are new, hey, my name is Kendra, aka Kinesthetic, and you have found your way to an amazing place on Beyonce's internet. So just go ahead and keep on watching, okay? In this vlog, we are going to get our lives back together after, you know, being on vacation or being away for three weeks. We have a lot to do. I need to get groceries. I still need to clean up a bit and just, you know, get my life together. Get my life together. Whatever getting my life together consists of, that's what we're going to be doing in today's vlog. So I really hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are excited. And we have a little bit of fun because I don't want to go out this weekend. So we're going to see. But make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I always feel like whenever I leave my house for a while and come back, like somebody's gonna run out and be like, you don't live here anymore. I don't know what it is. But I'm just like, this is strange. Like, ain't nobody here to tell me that. Cause it's my house. But today is Tuesday, September the 12th. I actually wanted to come back yesterday, but I don't like flying on September 11th. So I decided to just leave out on the first flight this morning. So my flight was at 6.30. We landed at 9.13 and it's currently 10.21 and it is hot here, okay? It's hot here. I forgot the heat here, but the heat here is like how it was hot in New York, so it's not really a big difference. But I don't even know where to start, y'all. I don't know where to start. I want to unpack, but then I also want to go get something to eat, so. But my little airport outfit, if you guys saw in the previous clips, it was this zip-up jacket and the matching Pants. This is from Target. It's a Lululemon dupe. Okay, I showed you guys in. Have I? I don't think I showed you guys when I tried it on in the store. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. But it's this little dupe. <sighs> yeah, today's Tuesday, so I'm gonna start like picking up around the house. And I don't know if this is far fetched, but I signed up for a yoga class this evening. We're gonna see if I can make it. I should be able to make it. I will be able to make it. Okay. So. Yeah, I just feel so out of place. So let me get myself together and then I'll be back on camera once I actually start doing things. But this smells good. I just found this on my counter. This is the MFK fragrance in the scents Amaris. Amaris. I had a little sample of it, but it smells good. One of my and y'all favorite parts of my vlogs is when I open my PR packages. So we got a my boob showing, but we had a PR package from Milk Makeup which I'm super excited to open. I was hoping they didn't leave this like on my doorstep because it would have melted, but they left it in like a little mail area. So it should be fine. 
Ooh. 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 Milk. Makeup. Okay, let's see what they send. Try to keep it cute so I can make a little TikTok. Oh my God. It's their Meat Pore Eclipse. This is a matte translucent setting powder and they sent it in four shades. They sent it in translucent, very deep, translucent deep, translucent medium, and translucent light. And then what's this over here? Oh, not a setting powder brush, honey. If y'all know me, if y'all been watching my makeup videos, you guys know that I've been very much so into doing my makeup with brushes versus like sponges and stuff. So let's see what this brush is hitting for. Okay, milk. Oh, she's fluffy. We love, we love, we love. It's a nice, like, fluffy brush to, like, <gasps> Yeah, I know to make a big eating, but, hmm, I cannot wait to try this out and see what it is hitting for. Okay, let me, I'll probably be, like, translucent deep, I'm guessing. So, let's see. This is a packaging. It's like a little drawer. And it's like this. Yeah, I'll probably be like translucent deep for like my skin tone. And I actually saw a reel of like a makeup trick hack that I want to try to basically set with a powder that's like your skin tone. So we're going to try this out and see. So make sure you guys stay tuned for my makeup content here on my YouTube channel so you guys can see when I try this powder out. But thank you, Milk, for always thinking of me, sending these over and always blessing the girls okay always blessing the girls and thank you guys for supporting me so that these brands can actually recognize me and you know be kind enough to send me things so that i can share with y'all so i can give y'all my honest thoughts and opinions so if y'all want to pick it up y'all can and that's that one out. <sighs> okay so i want to hop right back into my routine of doing things i don't want to have to transition like we just getting back into it so I'm going to write my to-do list for the day. Today is September the 12th. It even feels weird writing, like. <laughs> Go to the yoga class this evening. Unpack suitcases because they're not going to be sitting in my garage forever. I left them in my garage on purpose because I'm scared to leave my stuff in the garage. And I'm scared, but like, I don't want no bugs in my stuff. So if I leave it in the garage, my mindset is like, okay, I'll be more forced to unpack it versus putting the suitcases directly in the house, if that makes sense. So unpack suitcases. I want to go to the grocery store, grocery shopping, because I'm really not trying to eat out, even though I'm starving right now. But the budget is going to be budgeted, especially after all of this movement. The budget, it needs to budget. Okay, the balance, it needs to balance. So, I'm going to go to the grocery store. I'll probably go to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. I need to start editing Thursday's video. It's going to be my New York City vlog. I think that's it for now. I also don't want to overwhelm myself. So, yeah, but... Let me get some work done and then we'll go to the grocery store during like my lunch break. Reunited with Stormy and it feels so good. I miss my girl so much. Like not having a car. <laughs> yeah, I thought I charged her before I left and I didn't. So I'm just gonna go get Kaba. 
and then I'm gonna go to Target if I have time and just come back home and I'll run all of my other errands another day but tomorrow I don't know y'all but hi can I have a bowl to go please I'll do arugula and brown rice can I do three scoops of the red pepper hummus please grilled chicken hi can I have the corn the tomato with the onion and the pita crisp I'll do my sauces on the side. I'll do a, a hot harissa vinaigrette and a garlic on the side. So I got my meal. I'm so hyped. I haven't had kava in three weeks. <laughs> it was probably my last meal I had before I left. I don't remember y'all, but I love me some kava. I shared my order in the previous clip, but if you want to reference it, I do have a short form content on my YouTube page. I linked it so you guys can reference my order. If you've never tried kava before, Leaves. Mm. So good. Y'all know I'm having my little lemonade in the water cup. If you know, you know. Mm. And it's so fresh because it's lunchtime. I got my garlic dressing. This going to make your breath stink. I ain't even going to lie, but. I, I tell y'all all the time, if it's garlic and it don't make my breath stink, I'm gonna want it. Okay? Garlic is supposed to make your breath stink. Period. So this garlic sauce is vegan. And then I get the hot horse vinaigrette for a little spice. I hope I don't dirty my clothes. Mix that in there. Babes, you are in business, okay? This is a five-star meal, world-class flavors. Mm. Mm. Yo, girl, just pulled up to Target. I've missed Target so much, even though I was going to New York, but my Target, my Target. Mm. Jesus, got me tripping. So I need trash bags and hand soap and I'm already forgetting what else. It's officially pumpkin spice season and I kinda wanna try these and this. I got a whole lot of them. The hand soap I like to use. I'm in Marshalls. They have the Laneige lip sleeping mask for $16.99. The berry, the grapefruit. This is cute. Thank you so much. It's a whole cricket in here. Time to go. Yeah, no, I do not do crickets. I heard it, but I'm like, maybe it's like something they um selling because it's you know Halloween spooky season. You know, I don't know. But one of the other customers was like, I'm sorry to ask, but is there a cricket in here? And they were like, Yeah, it's been here since Saturday. I'm sorry, but if I have to report to work and there is a cricket on site. I'm not coming in. These are unhealthy work conditions and I should not have to be at work with a freaking cricket. Y'all need to hire an exterminator and handle the problem. Like what? But I'll show you guys what I get, what I got when I get home because I'm about to rush home for a call. I did not expect to be outside this long, but the things I got from Marshalls didn't have a tag on it, so they had to like, you know, call for help and all that stuff. But let me go ahead and drive home. That's that shit like, whoa. This is not a fairy tale, I already know. Ooh. 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 Your girl's back home, and we're gonna do a little haul. I ain't really get much. 
and I didn't spend no money because I had a Target gift card and I had a Marshalls gift card. So I got some hand soap from Target because of my hand soaps all around my house. Like, oh, this for? Because that's my vision. We be fucking raw. Yeah, I need to refill these, but I also want to swap these out, which we're going to talk about in a few. So I got this one. This is the white tea and berry. This one smells so good. And Target had like a dupe option, but I didn't see it said antibacterial on it. And to me, that's the whole purpose of washing your hands. So I always make sure my hand soap says antibacterial. So I got that. I got some trash bags because I'm running, well, I'm literally on my last trash bag, but I got these. This is the Hefty Ultra Strong Clean Burst. This is a 13 gallon tall garbage bags. These were 11.59. I want to see how they smell. I couldn't really smell it in the store. I don't know if y'all saw me struggle. Clean burst. The Fabuloso was a little bit too much for me. I'm like, after a while, I'm going to be tired of this. Because these come with 50 bags. Oh, yeah. I could get jiggy with this. So, I have the trash bags. Oh, this gift card is done, I think. Then I have one to Marshalls. Crooked-ass Marshalls. <laughs> and I got some bathroom goodies. So I got this little planter, you can look the situation to put next to my sink in my bathroom. I got a soap dispenser. I got a soap dispenser. I got a little holder. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here, but it was a set and I'm like, I don't think I'm ever going to find this set again, so let me just go ahead and get the whole set. And then I got toothbrush holder. So this is the print on all of them. So that's everything I picked up. I'm about to Clorox everything down. Put everything away. I have a call for work in 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up my bathroom a little bit too because I didn't realize I left my bathroom a mess. I walked in, I said, who did this? And I'm like, oh yeah, I was rushing last, last, last minute, so. Y'all tell me why. Notified me like we're on the way and I'm like, y'all on the way weird because I'm like, y'all on the way weird because y'all never told me I had an appointment today. Like, yeah, I'm here, I came back to Houston, but y'all never told me I had an appointment today. So I was thinking about it and I was like, let me just let them come because I'm home for now and I'm doing stuff around the house, which you guys will see in a separate video. So yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna just let them come. And it says they're here. I don't see nobody. I don't see nobody on the block. Yeah, so basically my pest control follow-up appointment. They need to take out the swap out the traps in my garage because there are crickets on them they're dead but like i want to see that every time i come in my garage and also um my zebo traps they caught a lot of stuff on it so i want them to take a look at it to let me know like you know what those things are and they are going to check the traps that they put behind my toilets and under my sink so I don't know where they at, but I'm about to go back to doing what I'm doing. And then if I hear the doorbell, I'll come back. If not. Hey, y'all. So I'm on my way to the mall and then yoga. So I ordered some items from Zara. And I ordered some art. I had ordered some items from Zara and a palm for the deliberation. Y'all know Zara size and like I would need a size large in this dress and I ordered an extra small and a small. So I don't even know if one of my legs is fitting in that dress, okay? Because the girl is getting thick with two seats. So I'm going to the mall to return it and then I'm going to go to my yoga class. So yeah, it's hot outside. I moisturized my scalp. Let me see how it's looking because my scalp was giving ashy. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'll show you guys what I've been using on my scalp sometime throughout this vlog. Okay, editing Kendra, remember to tell the people what you be using on your scalp. But this right here is my song. Y'all know how I feel about music. And if you know me, you know I love me some Jada Kingdom. I love me some Twinkle. <laughs> Are you the one to be in when I take you for granted? No. When my 
me say right now, unfold all the demons in my soul. I just need some killer sex tonight. Well, right no lie, you give me the greatest grind. So give it up one time for the love of my life. Never let me never let you go. My two bad for you, I know. Don't know what I'm getting for. Oh my God. OG Chris Brayley. Wow. Young Thug's new album, Cars Bring Me Out. I cannot wait to flex like that. Like, I don't want to be outside to see nobody. I want to go outside so that I can show off my cars. Y'all can see what my new cars are, you know, what's new in the stash. Like, that's that's big energy, okay? One day, one day, one day. <laughs> now, pop. This is my song. Never, ever, ever you. Cash Doe and Summer Walker, no lane. Summer Walker. These boys are all the same. These boys are all the same. Y'all, guess what freaking happened? Guess what happened? So remember how I told y'all like, oh, I had a pest control appointment. They said they were on their way. They said they were there. Why did I just get an email like, oh, thank you, or like we completed the service? What is this? It says your service is complete where because nobody came nobody came nobody came and i pay for this every month so i'm about to call them while i'm in the mall and i'm gonna tell them about themselves because first of all y'all got me all the way effed up y'all have the wrong girl because i have cameras all around my house and i can prove to you guys that nobody pulled up to casa kinesthetic so I'm not quite sure why y'all would think it's okay to lie and say that y'all came and serviced my house. First of all, my service is indoor and outdoor. So if y'all came and y'all did outdoor while, you know, I've been gone for all of what, 15 minutes? Okay, that's half the service because I pay for indoor as well. So yeah, I'm going to call them and I'm going to tell them about themselves because why would y'all ever think y'all could play with me? Like, huh? what let's keep it a bug yeah i'm not even like stressed like it's crazy how peaceful i am in life right now because things that would have stressed me out before now i just giggle and move on because it's above me okay and one thing about me is i am god's favorite he gonna always make sure that i'm good okay so yeah but i just got to the mall i'm about to find parking Hopefully, I can find any spots up close.
Hey loves, happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, September the 13th, and I have been up working all morning, but I'm about to start preparing lunch because I'm done spending money on outside food. Last night, I didn't even show you guys, but I got that penne pasta from Trader Joe's that I like, and I just made that for dinner. I didn't add any protein to it because I didn't have the time job, but for lunch today, I'm going to... Hey guys, sorry, one of my clients had called me, but what I was saying is I got this from Trader Joe's yesterday. This organic hearty minstrone soup. It has fresh vegetables, beans, rice, and quinoa, something pasta, vegetable broth, and kale. So I feel like I was obsessed with something similar to this last year, except it was called like a harvest chili or something. It was like a fall exclusive at Trader Joe's. I haven't seen that come around this year yet. Yet. <laughs> But I was browsing and I saw this and it's vegan, so I picked it up to try it out. But I'm going to add chicken to it. So I'm going to go ahead and bake some chicken. So I had defrosted two chicken breasts yesterday. I'm just going to bake both of them now. I'm going to have one with the soup for lunch. And then I'll have the other one later for dinner, whatever I decide to make. So yeah, let me go ahead and get to it. I'm following this same recipe for the big chicken that i spoke to you guys about before i went on my little trip is from give me some oven it's their baked chicken breast recipe but it has definitely been making a difference in the flavors of my baked chicken so definitely try it out basically before i went away my microwave stopped working oh and once i came back guess what the microwave started working again but whirlpool just came here to replace it because my warranty is literally over on friday so i told them like come back once i get back and bring me a new microwave so they coming inside now i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good i got your shoes in the microwave yes come can in can you show me where you want to put it in? yeah do you want to take your shoes off or you want to put shoe covers i got the covered shoes okay i hate opening my front door because all the bugs come in like Hi. What's your name? Well, yes, Kendra. Kendra. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, how you knew it was over there? <laughs> What's wrong, man? Um, the... Um, Butter? Yeah, and the um, some of the buttons stopped. Your girl finally has a new microwave. I need to wipe it down and disinfect it but whirlpool came and replaced my microwave yes a new microwave all the buttons work okay so yeah i'm happy about this period and i need to remove the film all of this but yeah i am happy I had put my chicken in the fridge while they were here because I didn't want no. I didn't want any cross contamination, okay? If you guys know me, you guys know I really cry on camera or like really, I guess like show my true emotions during the time. But I just felt like it was necessary for me to come on camera and just share how I feel right now. So, <laughs> this is crazy. It is so crazy because it's like the devil will try to step in. But when I tell you that God always has your back, like it's 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 crazy but i have been having a shitty day i'm not even gonna lie it took everything in me today to not like react to things in a negative way like i just i physically i mentally i emotionally cannot like i have grown so much that i'm like i can't even imagine like me 
doing that you know what i'm saying like i'm not a mean person i'm not like but either way my whole experience with the whole pest control thing i'll tell you guys the company that i was using now because oh i think they're pulling back now hold on hello well, that was the manager from the pest control so i guess i won't give you guys the name <laughs> but long story short what had happened was that they claimed they came yesterday to my house to perform service on the exterior i pay for interior and exterior so i don't understand how they can say they perform the service if they weren't able to get into my home but then the gag is that i further review the report and they have to like put pictures of like you know the house or the observations or whatever y'all why was that not even my house <laughs> i'm like yo these people tried me so i constructed a lengthy email with all of my concerns and basically the like um i guess like admin at the office she called me and she's like oh the manager told me to excuse me handle the situation with you the way a manager should and i'm like no i'll wait for the manager to get back in so that i can speak to the manager because that's who i contacted and sis hung up on me and i said so either way, it's a hot mess with this whole pest control company and they just call me and he's like, I'll do everything I can to make it right. So I'm giving them one more chance. Okay. I'm treating them like the niggas that I fuck with. I'm giving them just as many chances as the niggas that I fuck with. And one thing about me is I'm going to give a nigga another chance and another chance and another chance. It's sad, but it's the truth. And you have to be honest with yourself, right? So either way. I say all of that to say that when the devil is working, God always works harder because I received a, I don't want to say random, but just an unexpected email from a contact yesterday and they were like, oh, we want to schedule a call with you. So I didn't think anything of it because I was just like, okay, cool. They want to schedule a call. I don't know what they want to talk about, but we're going to see. So me going into the call, I didn't really expect much. And it's just crazy that people are always watching you like i know i have a youtube channel i know the purpose of me posting videos is for people to watch me but you literally never know who's watching you like i look at how many views i get and i'm like who all is these people <laughs> but it's just crazy so basically it was a contact of someone who works with like companies and brands that i you know speak about and promote here on my youtube channel on my social platforms and they basically express that they see potential in my platforms and my growth and they basically want to help me take things further and i was not expecting that at all because i was just like okay i'm gonna go into this call it's gonna be the same thing as it was when i had a call with them like over a year ago and it was not it was really really good and i literally wanted to cry on the call cry for multiple reasons like one thing about me is i don't cry like <laughs> the tears they just don't be falling okay but i was just on the call and i'm like this is god like literally god like yesterday i posted on my story this and it's crazy because i'll like read things and i'll post things and i believe things but like when you actually see it within your life it just hits differently like i'm not sure exactly what it is but i posted and i said oh it was actually this morning what what like <laughs> this makes it even crazier so you guys know if you guys follow me on instagram if y'all don't y'all should quick little plug but i posted and i said please stop letting your potential go to waste because you don't feel confident already enough people with half your talent are making serious waves while you're still waiting to feel ready and i feel that like i know that i have so much potential but i don't know what's stopping me like i'm stopping me like that's the problem i'm the problem <laughs> And I'm like, you know, working on myself on a personal level so that that can then reflect in a professional level so I can actually like, you know, be more confident in what I'm doing and feel more comfortable doing things and like, you know, just taking my life further where I know it can go, but I'm stopping myself. I'm the problem. And things such as like, you know, me going to therapy and me actually investing in therapy for myself, like I know that I'm putting in the work to, you know, follow that path and actually like, you know, lead my life in the direction that I wanted to go in, but I have to put in the work, right? So I have been struggling for, I guess, like the past couple of weeks or months because I'm like, I don't, I don't like, I'm not, how do I say this? I am, I'm just questioning like what what my direction is or what my direction should be or waiting for god to give me the signs on what his plans for me are and 
I've just been patient. I've been so patient. I've just been waiting and I'm still even waiting. I'm not saying that this is him providing me with a 100% answer, but this could be a step along the way of where he wants me to go. You know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy that everything is happening now. Like God's timing, when I tell y'all never question it, never ask him why, never ask him how come, like just be patient and trust in him. And I promise you that everything will make sense later on. So I'm really like excited. Like my throat is closing up, y'all. <laughs> what is this? But it's just crazy. So yeah and then even the fact that the manager called back and was like i'll give you whatever you want like we'll fix this i honestly wasn't expecting that response since i was like you know met with a rude associate i was just like okay this is a reflection of the company but the manager called me and he was able to like you know try to resolve things so as i mentioned i'm gonna give them just as many chances as i give my niggas because one thing about me is i'm gonna give a nigga a million chances which is a whole nother story for another day but yeah so i say all of that to say never stop believing in yourself never trust never stop trusting in god um never stop believing in god be patient be kind uh be as confident in yourself as you can be i don't want to sit here and be like i'm 100 percent confident in myself because i'm not i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all like there are things that you guys compliment me on and i'm just like really like for real me <laughs> and it's just crazy that like we have like everyone has insecurities so don't feel like oh like i'm less than anyone or whatever the case is like never compare yourself to anyone stay in your own path stay in your own lane and just trust in yourself and trust in god and i promise you that everything will come together no matter what you are seeking you know assistance or guidance with it will come together so yeah this is insane but I feel like I just need a breather. I cooked. I haven't even ate yet because I've just been like so like, I don't even know. When I'm getting in my emotional bag, which is very rare, like I don't, I don't want to eat. Like I just want to sit and be with myself. I don't know if that makes sense. But either way, I feel like that's enough preaching for the day. But I have therapy today. This is going to be my first therapy session since early August because you guys know I've been ripping and running. So we have a lot to talk about today we do and it's crazy because uh, the note that we left off on the last time like really has stuck with me and i've really been thinking about I don't wanna cry. <laughs> more tears <laughs> but i really just been thinking about what my therapist has been saying to me and like everything is is true like it's crazy like i <laughs> I told you I don't want to share too much about my therapy journey because it's something I'm doing for myself on my healing journey. But like there's so many things that are in plain sight and we just ignore because we don't want to believe it, whether it's good or whether it's bad. It's literally right in front of us and we don't want to believe it. So there have been so many instances since my last therapy session where I'm like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Like I'm just seeing signs like I'm just seeing what we're saying and it's just so interesting to like dig into yourself and like you know make these realizations and then actually see it play out in your life is crazy so yeah i'm gonna literally wipe my tears <laughs> and get back to work and act like i have things to do because i do but this is this is crazy this is great and i can't wait to share more with you guys and for me to actually explain things so it makes sense to you guys but you guys know i don't like speaking on things until it's time to so i really hope you guys stay along so you guys can see exactly what i'm speaking about and i hope and pray that you guys continue to support me whether you are new here or a returning subscriber whether you come every week or you come once in a while I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. And I really hope that this section of my vlog, as I always do, resonates with at least one person. And um, yeah. Whew, y'all, <laughs> we need to do a girl talk, a chit chat. It's time for these things to get off of my mind. Y'all know I love me a little brain dumb video. Fancy, Nancy, I'm getting one, I'm fancy. My hair, my nails, my chubby. Hey guys, so I just finished my therapy session and you guys probably can't tell, but I was literally crying my eyes out here, just like getting everything off my chest and off my mind. And I feel so much lighter, but 
in order to feel even more lighter okay i'm trying to be as light as a feather i'm trying to be flowing okay but i'm about to go to the gym to release some more steam and tension so this is my first like real workout session because i went to yoga yesterday which we didn't even talk about but yoga was very chaotic with that one specific instructor that's, this was my second time doing her class and i'm just like i'm gonna just wait until my girl come back from vacation because this it was a lot but yeah i'm not going to yoga again until my original instructor is back from vacation so we're back with our workouts weightlifting and just pushing ourselves in the gym so this is going to be my first gym session to, first gym session of the month like actually in the gym working out weightlifting and stuff like that so i just packed my bag Call me eight three two who is this yeah, I'm about to go to the gym. I have my gym bag packed, okay? She's loaded up. Waters, equipment, accessories, all of that. So, yeah, let's go to the gym. I'll record my workout. You guys love when I share my workouts, and I love that y'all love when I share my workouts, okay? Because I be going hard in the gym, and with me sharing the workouts that I do, not only do I hope to encourage you guys to, you know, introduce or be consistent with body movement in your daily lives but also to give you guys like workout ideas so whether you you know want to do classes and you guys are into like me going to yoga or you guys want to do weightlifting but you're like i don't know what what workouts to be doing and what the workouts be doing i plan on sharing that like that's the purpose of me sharing that content with you guys but let me go to the gym so i can come back and do what i have to do Hey guys it is thursday the 14th and i was cleaning my kitchen getting myself together i unboxed all of my pr and like got rid of the boxes because tomorrow's garbage day but <sighs> pest control is here finally and um the guy is getting his stuff to come inside and do the inside first so i'm just gonna like handle that because i just want to get it over with like so if you guys are watching thursday's vlog i'm so sorry because i thought i put the links in and i didn't and one of you guys commented like a link for the gucci glasses and i'm like oh crap because these pest control people have just been ruling my life that's why i'm like i just need them to come and go so i can move on and get things done so i'm about to sit here i'm watching Jalen's vlog face over matter and i'm about to update the links in today's vlog for y'all so yeah i'm like that's very unlike me like no links wow that's crazy this is how y'all should know i was rushing to upload this video the title was not even completed y'all like but i think i have everything together now so yeah let me respond to some comments let me talk to my girls <laughs> my boys I like responding to comments. One, I appreciate the fact that y'all really scroll down and drop a comment because you know you could just watch and move on with life. But when y'all want to chop it up, I'm here for it. Okay, I'm here for it. Cause I like talking to y'all. Oh, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> okay, let's see. We love a good vlog on a Thursday. Also, it's so weird seeing you back in your old room now. Ooh, I know, right? I know, right? Yes, sis did that on your hair. Love the curly added here as well. Thanks, girl. Hey, moms. Yes, we miss her. Nice to see her. Aw, she misses y'all too. That see-through top. So bomb, sis. I found some pants from Urban and they fit me so good yesterday. I'm still trying to hold. Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all this again, okay? Urban Outfitters has pieces. Like, pieces. And not only do they have pieces, but when I shop, I like feeling like more than 
a number like i actually like feeling like a part of a community and that's why i like i i strive for community i don't know what it is to me but i love community i'm trying to make sure you have to see me but urban outfitters i like shopping with them because when they have a loyalty system or a loyalty program y'all all these companies have us spending money and not giving us anything back i.e zara 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 <laughs> I'm like, by now, Zara should have some type of loyalty program, and they don't, but whatever. But Urban has a loyalty program. You get points for basically anything, whether you're scrolling on the app, whether you are, you bring your own bag to shop, that gives you 70 points. Whether you leave a review, I started leaving reviews now. So if you don't have an Urban Outfitters account, I highly recommend you make one and collect your points because what? Like, it's so easy to earn points on urban's loyalty system so i just love urban and they have good pieces as i show you guys all the time so i love it when y'all say girl i went to urban and i found some things because i'm telling y'all urban outfitters has pieces i have been such an emotional mess this week <laughs> i'm fighting back tears right now but i feel like this week it's been a lot like it's really been a lot and I can't say too much right now, but I really just wanted to get on here to thank you guys so much. Like, I know I tell you guys all the time how grateful I am for you guys. I express how much I love you guys all of the time, but I really want you guys to understand, like, this community that I have built on YouTube has been amazing. Like, y'all are really the best, and I don't just say that to say that. Like, I genuinely mean that, and I hope you guys feel that, but I realize that i like youtube compared to like other social media platforms because youtube is very community driven and that's something that i like i don't like to just post and go or i don't like to just post and like like show you guys something you know what i'm saying like hey guys spend your money on this it's like i want to one firstly have an impact on you guys so i told you guys in an earlier video on my channel probably my first youtube video that as long as one person watches my video, I'm fine. If my video has one view, my day is made, okay? If one person watches my video and feels impacted or feels moved by something I've said or I've shared, my job is done. Like, I'm here to make an impact and I'm so happy that I am actually able to make an impact. Not only on one person's life, but so many people's lives. It's just crazy to think about. But I really appreciate you guys so much and I really hope you guys receive that i don't remember if i see, this morning was crazy yeah but if i read my devotional for the day i did not so let's do that together right now this is a devotional book that i have it's called amazing grace and it is available on amazon so i'll have the link down below oh that feeling of relaxation after a long day i honestly didn't even do much today but i just feel drained so this little five minutes i'm giving myself to lay down it feels good okay but i was just about to leave the house to run some errands and i don't know if y'all are gonna be able to hear but it sounds like the sky is about to fall and i'm like this trend of thunder with no precipitation to follow it upsets my homegirls and i because it's just like what are you really doing like you raining or not because we need to know and then when I look at the weather app, it says isolated thunderstorm. So what does that mean? Is it going to rain or not? That's all I need to know. But either, ooh, now it's showing like actual rain. So I don't know. But I wanted to leave the house to get some snacks because this is going to sound bad, but I really don't care. But I wanted to... Get some snacks so I could just lounge around the house and get things done. I just wanted to reward myself. I wasn't going to go to the gym today. I still don't think I am. Because there are some things that I want to get done that they're not time sensitive. But I would just like to get them done so things can move along. So I think I'm going to still do that. I don't know but. I'm just laying down right now seeing if I can find anything else to order for my home. I owe you guys a moving vlog. It's coming. 
it's coming i promise it's coming but since i went away did this go down 177 how much should i pay i don't know my password why are you asking me for all of that yeah i am here chilling and i forgot that i was trying to make it to the bank before they close at at um five let me just throw this dress on real quick and dip out because girl what <laughs> Yeah, so I went to the supermarket to get a few things. I didn't end up making the bank. I'm just like, whatever. I'm just going to go tomorrow. But first of all, before I forget to tell y'all, I have a um, possible HVAC issue. Um, so basically, my dryer vent, like where basically all the lint goes once the dryer is running, it was like overflowing, but I never work on that side of my house, so I never realized it. But when pest control came today, they were in my business, thankfully, and the guy like emptied what he could, but he was like, I need to basically um, like vacuum out the rest of it. And I noticed that my dryer hasn't been running the same, and that's why he's like, this could cause a fire. And I'm like, we're not doing laundry until this gets done. So I have to find an HVAC company to hire to get that done. But I got a package in the mail. I ordered something while I was in New York. I ordered this, okay? This is the Big Body Benz and not the Pathfinder. I tell y'all all the time, if y'all didn't watch my recent night skincare routine, I told you guys that this product right here has single-handedly been transforming my skin. This is the Polish Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This has salicylic acid in it and it also has bhas yes and this does a great job with like the texture of my skin i currently have two breakouts one here and one over here i haven't been getting breakouts that often so i feel like it's probably because i was eating like crap while i was away but it's time to get the skin together so paula's choice releases like the big jumbo size of this probably like once a year maybe I'm not sure, but right now it's only available on their website. This is eight fluid ounces versus the other one. Let me show y'all the other one so y'all can understand what I'm saying. Okay, so this is the regular size. This is four fluid ounces. This retails for, I think, $36 on Sephora. Let me just check quickly. Okay, this retails for $34 on Sephora's website, the four fluid ounces versus the eight fluid ounce so just for size and comparison you guys can see that this one is twice the size literally four fluid ounce eight fluid ounce so the eight fluid ounce bottle retails for i think 51 dollars. let me just double check so the eight fluid ounce retails for 51 dollars. but basically when i purchased this paula's choice had 20% off and free shipping. So I ended up paying, I ended up paying $40.80 for this one after the 20% off. So this $34, this basically $40. So a $6 difference for twice the size. So make sure you guys check Paula's Choice website for when they have 20% off. If I see it, I will link it on my stories again. But when I initially bought this one, I did tell you guys about it over on my Instagram. So. I say all of that to say, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at kinesthetic underscore. So I just got this. I didn't get anything else in my order. I'm trying to do better with throwing my boxes away. So let me go put this in the garage right away. So I'm about to make dinner because I'm I'm really tired, but I need to eat. So I have one to Trader Joe's. So I got some sweet potato fries and I'm going to make some chicken wraps. So I got lettuce and spinach wrap so i show you guys how i make this all the time so i'm gonna just go ahead and make it i promise i'm gonna try to make some well i'm gonna make something more interesting either tomorrow or saturday so i'll show you guys when i do that but this is my go-to meal if you watch my vlogs you guys have seen this recipe before if not i'll link a vlog that i did it in so you guys can reference it but i'm gonna go cook so hey guys good morning it is friday september the 15th and today is an exciting day because today marks one whole year since your girl one moved to houston texas and two closed on her first first ever house and i'm gonna say home now because we turned this house into a whole home throughout this past year 
but I really just wanted to sit back and reflect because this is crazy. Like, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I lived in my family's house. I had my room. I did everything in my room, okay? I slept in my room. I worked in my room. I produced content in my room. I did everything in my room, and I worked real freaking hard to make this happen on my own. So I am proud of myself. Like, it's crazy. It's really crazy, but... I would say that the thing that I am the most proud of myself for as far as like the whole home buying experience is the fact that I have been taking my time to furnish my house. Like you guys are going to see in the next moving vlog, like things are moving along. You guys may peep like, you know, based on what y'all see in the vlogs, but I have been taking my time to get everything <laughs> the only thing that i rushed to get when i first got my house was my bed because i already knew what bed i wanted and bar stools because i already knew what bar stools i wanted everything else i had to figure it out and with trial and error things are coming along but i'm happy that i'm taking my time to like select each piece that i want for everything so it's actually things that i like so i don't have to look into replacing them like, you know, in the near future, everything that I have in my home, I can see myself having for at least three to five years. So I'm really happy about that. This year flew by, y'all. Like, when I tell y'all it flew by, it flew the freak by. I have learned so much about myself. I have learned so much about owning a freaking house. I have learned so much about everything. Like, this year to me has been probably the most eye-opening year as far as, like, everything like in a financial way okay because owning a home is not cheap i'm gonna tell y'all that now but i do want to do a video about like things that i've learned after one year of home ownership so if you guys have any questions comment them down below but i kind of have a gist of how i want the conversation to flow but of course i want to answer your questions so if you guys have any questions comment it down below so yes this year has flew by it's crazy and of course to celebrate my one year home anniversary your girl had to pay bills so this morning i paid all my bills and now i am broke <laughs> it's just crazy that it's crazy what adulting does to your pockets okay it's crazy what adulting has done to your girl's pockets but it's okay because we're gonna make it back in multiples and i am praying for that so yeah but today's friday i woke up this morning i've been waking up real early i'm not sure if it was a time difference in london or me being in new york and just waking up early because my mom was up early but i have been waking up early first of all i don't know throughout the three weeks i've been gone the sun rises so late like i wake up and it's still pitch black outside and i wake up i'm like hmm, what do i want to do with this extra time in the morning and i think like okay i could go to the gym but it's still dark outside and i i don't know about that so i just wake up every morning and just do productive things whether it's like building stuff around my house hanging stuff up editing videos checking emails whatever i have to do i've been getting it done in the morning so i absolutely love that for me because you guys know i've been speaking about it for a while that i want to start waking up earlier to make like greater use of my day so i'm happy that you know we're actually doing that now and what else and that's about it so i did want to say before i forget to tell y'all that the days are coming up okay prime day is approaching real soon black friday is coming up so i've been curating my i know it's early to think about these things but it's okay because y'all not gonna come for me because sephora is already selling holiday gift sets i have not had one pumpkin spice beverage i have not had one pumpkin spice set i have not purchased one pumpkin yet and for some reason these brands are shoving the holiday time the holiday seasons down i would throw and i'm just like but it is what it is so yes um i am curating my list for prime day as well as black friday because i told myself that i'm not going to buy anything else for my home until those times so i'll still buy things like you know from home goods and stuff like that but as far as like things that i know i want to get off of amazon or other websites i'm gonna wait until prime day and black friday so yeah but i am working right now i'm gonna go grocery shopping later shopping you guys with me and what else 
I think that's about it for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my work done for the day so that I can actually enjoy myself. And I kind of want to record some content today. I'm gonna see how I'm feeling because I do want to try these new milk makeup powders. So I'm gonna give you guys a makeup tutorial using these powders. Really excited about that. And I kind of want to get that up for you guys on Tuesday. So that'll be the next video you guys see after this vlog. And you guys are really enjoying my New York vlog, which I am so excited about. You guys have really been loving my vlogs and I love that and I'm happy about that. I promise there is more coming up. So I hope you guys are ready. And I think that's about it. I think that's about it. I was thinking about getting my nails done today, but I told myself since you know i started getting my nails done again this is my first set and i'm talking about getting my nails done again but i told myself i'm only getting my nails done once a month so i'm gonna wait a whole month and then get my nails done so i'm gonna do my next appointment at the end of september so yeah i just have to deal with these until then but i need to remember that when i do designs and select colors because these you can't really see that they grown out because like the acrylic color that she used is so similar to like my nail color like if you look up close obviously you can see it but from far back y'all can't see it so it's fine for my content and i absolutely love that hey guys so i just got a pure package and i'm really excited about it because when i got the email i'm like um y'all sending me perishable goods like what is it giving so we're about to find out because i still do not know so yeah let me make sure i look cute <laughs> I was literally just about to go do my makeup so that I can go out and run some errands, but yeah, I love the length of my hair. It's perfect. So here's the box. It's from Josie Moran. I know I love me some Josie Moran. They put this cute little sticker in the box. So cute, right? I looked at the sticker. I'm like, wait, why does this feel like this is from like a family or a friend? And you guys know today is my home anniversary so i'm like maybe somebody sent me some flowers or something i don't know but it's just been rent. it says frog hollow farm which is a farm that i'm guessing the perishable goods are from oh my god is it <sighs> hold on hold on hold on hold on josie marie you do not have to black like this like what what they said hold on we're gonna show the girls how to do a pr package and so said so duh Bro, a whole picnic basket? Who this for? Who this for? Like, y'all did not have to black like this. This is probably the best PR package that I have received. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's inside. So, this is a farm that the perishable goods are from. Fresh Frog Hollow Farm. Here's the picnic basket. And I'm really hyped about this because your girl finally has a picnic basket. And look. And look, and look, and look. It closes. It closes. <gasps> oh. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, girl. Calm down, girl. Inside, there's a note that says, "Hey, there, peaches. Here's a cheeky reminder to pamper yourself as you savor these juicy last days of summer. What better time to feel good and naked?" Josie Marie. <laughs> okay. Now let's see what's inside. Oh my God, y'all. Y'all have to see this. Let me bring y'all in. So here are some of their best-selling products. I literally just uploaded, I just updated my body care favorites and these two items are definitely in it. Like, I love Josie Moran and some peaches, some fresh peaches. Oh my God. Thank you, Josie Moran. Y'all are, y'all really out there yourselves, okay? I'm still in shock, like, who this for? Who is this for, Josie Moran? Who is this for? <laughs> the best PR package I've received today. I'm about to rinse these peaches off and I'm gonna do my makeup so I could go run some errands. I'm gonna record it as a real, well, short form content so that I can, you know, get back into the groove of doing that, you guys. I don't know if you guys peep, but I was uploading, it was a point before I went on my trip. I was recording YouTube shorts every day. For like two weeks so i'm trying to get back into that bag because i told you guys before that that's really what has been helping my subscriber count subscriber count grow here on youtube which in turn leads to more views on my longer form content so yeah we're back in that group okay we're going back over there 
So just to summarize what came in the PR package, we have this Josie Moran Argan Sugar Body Scrub. And it comes with this little scooper. Hmm. Skin finna be on fleek. This Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. Y'all, if y'all have never tried Josie Moran Body Butter before, what you waiting for? But this is in the scent Vanilla Apricot. So love that. And then this right here, this is my jam. This is the Argan Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil. This stuff is not spoken about enough, okay? This stuff right here is literally a body butter mixed with an oil. So I usually mix my body butters with an oil anyway. But this product does it for me. So I got that. And then we got some peaches. She want to make that booty. She fine. She sexy, she cool. She from East Atlanta, so she like to get loose. What, what, Casamigo, what, what? Do some shrooms and what? If you want to come, give my brother some. Benova, come run me like a rover. All the BBSs that get cold like Minnesota. Da, 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 da. I thought I told ya. Back up, back up. <laughs> hey guys, so I just did my makeup. It came out so good, right? I recorded it for you guys in the short form content, so you guys may, yeah, y'all gonna see it before, or after. I don't know, but y'all gonna see this makeup. So stay tuned. But outfit dilemma. You guys have not seen inside of my closet for a while because it looks a mess. But here we are. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> I just got dressed, but I want to ask y'all what shoes y'all think I should put on. So, we have we have two shoe options. So, I'm wearing this Jordan brand dress, and I have some biker shorts underneath. So, I'm going to wear it like these. And then shoe options, I either want to put on my Chicago Jordan 2s or my Reimagined Jordan 3s. So, I don't know which one I'm feeling. I'm kind of feeling the threes more. Let me put one on each foot so that we can actually visualize it. And girl, I'm just going to run errands, but I'm dressing up because I want to look good, okay? I want to look good for me. Ooh, on the foot, I kind of prefer the twos. See, that's why you got to try things on. Okay, so let me show you. Which one? The threes or the twos? Let me look in the full body mirror. The people have voted. The people, AKA me. <laughs> We're going with the twos. Let me put some more deodorant on. This is a Dove 0% aluminum coconut and pink jasmine. Oh, now it's almost done. Set of the day, set. I'm gonna put this on this Victor Rolf flower bomb ruby orchid. This is gonna be the scent of the day. I haven't worn this in a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I put my hair in like this half up, half down situation so that you can see my earrings, glasses are my Prada optical frames, and earrings are. Zara, they from a while ago, child. You knew better, so you do better. Cause I'm more of a real shit. Empty wetter. Hey guys, so I'm out running errands. First stop is the bank. So let me moisturize my hands. Oh my god, I forgot how good this Fenty body butter is. I have this mini one in my car that's basically finito. So I kind of wanted to stop at Sephora today. I don't know. I'm going to see how much money I spent, y'all. But I'm about to stop in the bank real quick. Handle my money. And then um, we're going grocery shopping. So we collect all my belongings.
It is a zoo in here. Like, I thought I came early. No, girl, I'm actually late. Weekend back in town, so I'm just gonna relax. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you been traveling or you moved? Traveling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where'd you get to go? I went to London and then New York. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Was everybody nice to you? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, I went to New York for my very first time of ever, the December right before COVID. Oh, wow. And Brooklyn uh -huh. Tabernacle Church. Oh, my. The choir. Yes. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. And like, if you know anything about the the music and what they do, the story of the no, choir director. Sure. She was the daughter, she's the daughter of the original pastor, the founding pastor. Oh. Zero music training. Really? And even this read music. Like, wow. Writes everything they sing, composes it, but from here. Oh, wow. How does that happen? I never knew that. So I just left Trader Joe's and I got some beautiful, when I say beautiful, I mean beautiful yellow roses. And it's crazy because I was looking and that one's really like, you know, catching my eye. And then one of the workers brought the roses out and I'm like, ooh, okay, these are giving full. These are giving one year home anniversary. So what did I do? I looked at them. So I'm looking at them. These are done, by the way. So pretty. I don't know if y'all can see. I should put them in a little bag. Refrigerated items in my back in the car so i started looking at the yellow roses and there were like two bunches that i was like hmm, which one is better so i'm sitting there like you know comparing them before i make my pick and i hear an excuse me so i look i always look to my left first and then my right i'm not sure why or whatever but i look to my left and then i'm turning to go to my right and i feel a presence of someone hovering over my right shoulder so it's basically a lady who's reaching for like one of the bunches of yellow roses and she's like i was waiting forever for her to bring these out and i'm like okay my dress still have my hand on the two bunches that i'm like comparing to see which one i want to get so she grabs like there was only three i should have said that there was only three so i'm i have my hand on two which means she can't touch those two and then she grabs the third one like with the attitude and like kind of walks away so i'm standing there, i'm not saying nothing because y'all know me at this point in my life i am beyond protected and this piece it cannot be broken this piece it cannot be disturbed this piece is beautiful this piece is here to stay this piece is not one to be touched okay untouchable piece okay so i'm like girl like what is you doing like <laughs> like what's going on so there was a lady next to me originally and when the miss mama's left with her roses she was like damn she didn't give you a chance did she i'm like girl i was thinking the same thing like when you say excuse me you wait for the excuse me to be not acknowledged whether that somebody has to move somebody has to pass whatever the case is before you go in and make your move but whatever so that was what happened in the air chop but i got my stuff i went to the bank um i need to go to heb target is a need it's a want so let me go on over to heb y'all I thought Trader Joe's was going to be empty. I'm like, let me go. Girl, the parking lot is full. I had to wait for a parking spot, so.
Bitch, I love my jeans and they rex to me. to share a quick little grocery haul with y'all so i went to trader joe's and i also went to heb so first of all these are the gorgeous 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 squirrels that i picked up from trader joe's these yellow roses like what better way to celebrate one year in your house than fresh flowers roses and yellow roses like i love roses I don't know what it is about roses, but I am obsessed. So I got these. And then, ooh, I got two of these juices from Trader Joe's. I discovered these when I was back in New York. Y'all, these are so good. They're expensive though. They're expensive. They're a little up there in the price. But this is a Trader Joe's cold pressed pineapple juice. They said it takes one and a half of like the big pineapples to make each bottle. So that's, I guess, why they're so expensive. But they are fire. I'm telling y'all, y'all have to try these. So freaking good. So I got two of these. I think they're like $2.99 each. So I was like, let me just get two. Not too much, babes. And then I got pita chips and porkless snack grinds. I got two of each of those. And then, okay. moving on to my insulated bed. I got these, oh my God, these are so good. Like after you enjoy your dinner, one of these will make your night. These are the Trader Joe's Fruit Frenzy Bars. It has raspberry, lemon, and strawberry in each bar. So good. I got this limeade. This is another Trader Joe's find that I tried when I was back in New York and I loved, so I got it. This is unpasteurized. So if you guys are new here, I tell you guys all the time, you should be drinking unpasteurized juices because it's not heated up in the process. So the juice retains a lot of like all the nutrients that we need to like for the juice to be beneficial. So yeah also trader joe's lemonade is also unpasteurized so i got one of these i just like having juice in the fridge for whenever you know i have a sweet tooth and oh my god y'all guess what is back guess what's back i told y'all was it early in this vlog that i tried that other soup and it was i from trader joe's but this is the one that i liked last year it's the trader joe's harvest chili it has black beans butternut squash 
cauliflower, sweet potatoes with a pumpkin puree and chili spices. It sounds crazy, it sounds like a lot, but I make this and I add brown rice and chicken. So I have to go ahead and get two of those because these are seasonal, but I ain't wanna OD. And then I got vegetable fried rice because this stuff is good. So let me wipe around one down and then we are gonna move on. Why does it sound like the sky is about to fall? Oh, it's raining. I got home just in time. That's crazy. Look at that. The flowers are so bright and beautiful. I love lightning. Crazy. I love the flowers. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. All right, so carrying along from HGB, what did I get, what did I get, what did I get? Oh, I got some potatoes so that I can make like mashed potatoes, etc., etc. I got these. Um, I got some burger buns because I plan on making turkey burgers sometime this weekend. We might do that today. We might do that today. I got these sunrise peppers. This is how I like to buy the peppers because it's more cost efficient. I got some bananas. So I'm gonna use majority of the peaches to make smoothies. So I decided to get fruits that will complement and you know, I, sh I will be able to make my smoothies. So I got bananas. I don't keep my bananas in the bag because that ages them. And I put my bananas in the refrigerator so they can stay fresher longer. So got that. I picked up some cornstarch because I'm running low. I also got these sun-dried tomatoes from HEB. This is a woman-owned brand, which I thought was very interesting. Hold on. <laughs> Bro, what? I just put my phone on the charger because I don't know what's going on. I did not know the rain was going to be this bad. They said the rain was going to be bad yesterday. Nothing happened. But today, lights flickering. That's where you got me. Lights flickering is where you lost me. But let me hurry up and do this so I can put stuff away. I got spinach. I got some strawberries. I got this mature cheddar sliced cheese from Violife. When I Googled it, it said mature cheese. I forgot what it said, but they said that it has more flavor than like regular cheddar cheese. So we're gonna try this on our turkey burgers. I got some more butter. This is a butter that I like. This is the Earth Balance butter. This is vegan. And then I got some feta crumbles for stuffed chicken breast. This is from the brand Follow Your Heart. I got two packs of chicken breast for the next few weeks or days or whatever. Um, I got this ground turkey from the brand Jenny O. This is the one that was on sale, so this is the one that we went with. I haven't had ground turkey in so long, so this is like my breakthrough, if you want to call it that. <laughs> and least but not least, I got my favorite vegan pizza, because y'all know I have to get this each and every time. But I only get one, because that's like $9 now. But I'm going to wipe everything off, put everything away, and I have to finish up the for work. This is crazy. I got home at the perfect time. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. But I'm going to go ahead and get myself together, so I'll be back. Hey. Oh, my hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches the set. My brother's name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chef Lee, boy, I'm on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it gets. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. She want me to play with that cat. Hey. She love how I make it on wet. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. Hey, yo, Eric, bring the girls to the stage, cause somebody's getting paid, and free big slime out the cage, and shorty tried to play it cool, but now she wish she would've stayed, cause every song that I made, bring it like I got engaged, love my guys I wouldn't trade, run the cradle to the grave. 
Hey, Gordo got me on a wave. And got me on a wave. Couple of hits, now you pray. You niggas better be hey, but all that pumping up your chest. All that talk about the best. You know how sticky it gets. If I'm with two of them, then it's a threesome. If she alone, you know she a freak one. If it's a escort, it's a police one. King of the hill, you know it's a steep one. If we together, you know it's a brief one. Back in the ocean, you go, it's a, it's a deep one. Forgave niggas and they feelings. Lucky for y'all, we don't do civilians. You say I changed, I say that I million. I did. The toughest actor follows back on tour. Off-road, made back, Pyrex, trap, Virgil came back through the boy. Damn. That's something to me, niggas really had a back turn to me. I ain't talking my assistant when I say niggas down to pack something for me. Then they thought they had a trap set for me. How you really think that went for me? Niggas gotta do a fact check for me. When everything is put to rest, and everybody takes a breath, and everything gets addressed, it's you alone with your regrets. All that pumping up your chest, all that talk about the best. You know how sticky it gets. Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. She pull me to play with that cat, hey. She love how I make it on wet, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get, Good morning. Happy Saturday. Today is September the 16th. And your girl is about to head to the gym. So it's currently 8.13 a.m. And I want to go to the gym before I break my fast. So here I am getting ready to head to the gym. So y'all, yeah, that stuffed chicken breast was a fail. Oh my God. The chicken was good. I ate the chicken. But the stuffing aspect of it, I don't know if I put too much. I don't know if I ain't closed it right, but it was just a hot mess as you guys saw. So if you guys have any recommendations for making stuffed chicken breasts, comment down below and let me know. Share a recipe if you guys have one. But I'll put the recipe I tried to follow down below. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a fail. So, of course, I decided to come to a different gym. I have been, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I have been struggling to transition back into my gym routine. Like, that's one thing about me when I'm in the mood to do something or when I'm in the mode of doing something. Once anything, like, distracts me, pulls me back or whatever, it's hard for me to get back on track. And that could be a statement that I'm saying off of my brain. That could be the gym. So, the fact that I literally have not been in a gym in almost three weeks. I went to the gym one time when I was in London in the hotel. But other than that, I haven't been in the gym, especially as much as I used to be in the gym before. Not my memory card having four minutes left. But either way, um, I have been struggling to transition back into like being in the gym. Like this whole week when I've been in the gym, I've just been like in the gym. I haven't been like working out. Like I feel like there's no like mental attachment to it right now. So I'm trying to get back to that point where you know i am mentally connected with myself as i am working out i don't know if that makes sense but yeah so i was like let me try to go to a different gym because that may you know like help with things and i decided to come to a different gym and it took me forever to come over here because it was so much traffic so many roads closed but we made it so thank you god but i'm gonna go ahead and try to clear some space on my memory card and get in the gym so we could get this workout in and hopefully see some type of improvement on this journey of like transitioning back into workout bay into gym bay into you know all of that all of that and all of that so I'm 
I'm home from the gym and we're gonna make a smoothie. I haven't used my blender in forever. This is the blender I have, it's a Vitamix. I'll link it down below. But on the weekends, I prefer to work out before I break fast. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know the science behind it, but I'm like, before I get hungry, let me just get up and go to the gym. Also, I can just get it out the way and I don't have to think about it throughout the rest of my day. So we love that. Okay, let's go ahead and make a smoothie. So I already rinsed, I'll rinse it again on camera for y'all. I rinse my container. So I'm gonna put in one banana. I like to break my banana in two. I'm gonna rinse my peach off. I'm using one peach from my PR package. And I'm going to cut a peach. <laughs> Big dirty seed. <laughs> Strawberries. I'm gonna take like five of them, six of them. I'm gonna remove the top. I saw on Instagram, like it's a whole system to clean strawberries to get the stuff out. <laughs> One thing about me is I'm not doing all of that, okay? I don't have the time, I don't have the patience, I don't have the supplies. It's too much for me, it's too much for me. So I'ma just rinse them off and pray for the best. And then I'm gonna take some spinach. A handful, rinse it off thoroughly. I'm gonna take some agave to add some sweetness, some ice to add some thickness, and my ice tray and ice cream maker is from Amazon. It's linked in my Amazon store it's down below. And then I'm gonna add in a dash of water to help the blendability. To help the blendability of it all. I'm gonna rinse this one. Okay, make sure that's sealed. That's good. Hey guys, so it's a little later. I've just been editing Sunday's vlog and just relaxing around the house. But I'm about to make a lunch because it's currently it's minutes to three. And your girl is starving, so we're gonna attempt to make some turkey burgers. <laughs> so we have the turkey meat that I purchased yesterday. It's defrosted. And I'm gonna make some sweet potato fries and make air fryer to go with the burger. So I'm gonna get that going. These are the sweet potato fries I had in the freezer. Man. 
all your bitches in the lobby. I'll let you come back to the moon to smoke. It's my official desire. Make it sweeter than dough. Like it's my house. Like it's my good. No skills. Talking about practice. No flame. I'm blowing out matches. Mustang. You're coming out handles. She in love. I wonder what happened. Are you working, baby? Let's go, I got money on me. Go see the new bitch, new kid. It's costing them rain on me. I've been down in love, but the niggas still weird. Ain't my prayers for the check. Straight shooter, like I'm walking with a check. Move deep and I'm pounding to my chest. You know, you know, you know what I wanna, you know what I need. Ice cold bitch, but I'm sipping my tea. I don't mean it, I don't mean it.
Hey guys, so we are about to do a taste test. So I made two turkey burgers and sweet potato fries with a side of barbecue sauce. I love barbecue sauce for my sweet potato fries whenever I'm eating a burger. And then I have a glass of Trader Joe's lemonade. So refreshing. So the fries, I know they're gonna be. Mm. The burger, I'm never so well. <laughs> So, first of all, this cheese didn't melt the way that I thought it was going to melt. So, that kind of, like, turned me off a little bit. So, the next time, I'll just use shredded cheddar cheese and call it a day. Because this, I'm like, what is you doing? All right, let's try it. Mmm. Okay. It's good. Hey girl. Yeah. How was it? I'm home. Oh. What do you think? I was calling you because I was making. Ooh. Ooh. That turkey burger was too good. Now I got the itis. Oh my god. Y'all want to know. This is super random, okay? But y'all want to know one thing that. I just can't understand. I don't want to say it grinds my gears because it doesn't even get to me that deep. But I don't understand. Like, if you are a self-pronounced girl boss, girl's girl, whatever synonyms these, you know, titles may fall into. I have never met someone who I would consider a girl boss or a girl's girl that has consistently shouted themselves out with that title like i just believe if you are a girl's girl your actions should speak for themselves and you shouldn't have to like verbally express that you're a girl's girl does that make sense like i don't know what it is but something about when somebody consistently repeats or says like oh i'm a girl's girl i'm here for the girls i'm here to support the girls 
If you really look at it, no tea, no shade. Those are the girls who usually are not a girl's girl. Those are the girls who are super competitive. Those are the girls who are super selfish, self-centered. And they see that this title or this understanding or whatever you want to call it of being like a girl's girl is what people love and what people appreciate. And if you really think about it, what really sells and makes people money so they try so hard to put themselves in this category to give themselves this title that they consistently have to remind us that they are a girl's girl or they are a girl boss or they are a serial entrepreneur, whatever the hell that means. But I have... <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, okay? That's all I'm going to say, but I just had to get that off my chest. Like, something about it just like, girl, turn on your camera and say this because I don't know who needs to hear, but somebody got to hear her, okay? But I just ate, and I'm about to sit here and plan my content for the week. So I'll give you guys a little um, snippet of how I plan my content. So first of all, I plan my content on my iPad. This is a iPad Pro, I think. I don't remember, but... I have not powered this on. It was dead because I didn't bring it away with me. So this is my first time back on my iPad. It feels so weird. But I want to plan my content for next week because I am going to use tomorrow as like a day to record. So I want to make sure I have my content ready for Tuesday and Thursday and maybe hopefully get a jump start at my content for the following week. So in case you guys don't know, my upload schedule is... Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays weekly vlogs are uploaded at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So vlogs, y'all know I have that down pack. Sit down content, we got to catch up on because I had videos in the stash but the stash is now empty. So it's giving d what we do. It's giving d what we doing. Okay, so we are in the month of September. You guys can see it is blank because i have not used my ipad in over a month so i to 17th so the 19th i'm gonna i just write it down in this calendar the 19th i'm going to upload a makeup video for you guys so i like to spread out my um videos over categories too because you guys know i upload videos on almost every category so i do like makeup videos hair videos fashion videos so i like to separate it so i'm not uploading um like the same type of content too frequently because i understand that people are here or found their way to my channel based on certain topics that interest them so i don't want to give just makeup videos for two weeks and someone who is interested in makeup they essentially don't have any content on my channel to watch if that makes sense so on the 19th on the 19th, I'm going to upload a makeup video featuring the milk makeup powders that I showed you guys earlier in this vlog. Powders. And, um, and then on Thursday, I may upload... A chit chat video should we do a chit chat or should we get ready with me i'm gonna put chit chat a chit chat or i don't know it's gonna be some type of of chit chat video but i don't want it to be a like tutorial video because i just gave that to you guys on tuesday so thursday's video might be like um 10 things that i learned in my first year of home ownership i think that would be very beneficial to those of you guys who are current homeowners and people who are interested in purchasing a home so i may do that i'll do 10 10 lessons so those videos i could get done tomorrow because one is doing my makeup and another one i'll just record it after my makeup is done and i also want to do a weird test on the powder so that works out beautifully perfectly so that is this week. The following week, I, you guys have been hounding me down for a video about how I edit on Final Cut Pro. And I promise it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. But I want to make sure I do it right. And I'm not like rushing to do it. So um, can I do that by next Tuesday? Possibly. But I also want to do like a fall. Like uh, I want to do a lot of fall fashion videos. But 
we gonna see so i'll probably give you guys a fashion video that tuesday and then um what else did i want to do oh styling my locks i could record that tomorrow too like eight different styles you can do with like locks so we'll see if I could get that done tomorrow. I don't want to overwhelm myself. But I basically only have four sit down videos to upload for you guys before the end of the month. September flew by but you guys know I wasn't here for majority of the month. But I was still giving you guys content. So I just have to get four more videos done for the month of September. And then I'm done. And then I have one more weekly vlog to give you guys for the month of September. And then believe it or not September is done. Q3 is done. And we literally only have three months left in the year. It's crazy. But... I also wanted to share new music that I've downloaded and been listening to with you guys. So, in case y'all don't know, if y'all can't tell by now, y'all made it all the way through this vlog. Your girl is a huge music fan. Like, I love music. Music just does everything for me. Like, if I'm in a bad mood, I put on music that I like. If I, I don't know, I'm always thinking of a song. I'm always singing a song. I'm always referring to a song. Like, I just love music. So, I remember last summer, I got a sponsorship with Tidal. Um, it was in my New Orleans vlog actually and I'm like wow this is amazing because you guys well if you know now I love music <laughs> and the fact that I was able to get a six month trial um, with Tidal during that time I was like oh this is perfect because I'm an Apple music kind of girl comment and let me know if you guys are an Apple music girly or a Spotify girly or boy because um, I share Apple playlists with you guys all the time but you guys are like girl where are the spotify playlists i don't have spotify okay so god willing we're gonna speak it into existence we're gonna manifest it that your girl receives a work opportunity with spotify so that i can give y'all spotify playlists okay because i don't have music for apple and spotify each month it's one or the other it's not giving both so new music that i've been listening to i've been listening to a boogie so a boogie dropped i don't know if it's like a preview for his album but it's this B4, B-O-A. It's three songs. But I've been listening to this. I love it. It definitely gives like throwback a boogie. Because I feel like it happens with almost every artist. When they first come out, like, you know, on their own independent. They, they have control over their music. They can, you know, do what they want, say as they want. But once an artist gets signed, you should usually to a larger music label they have more control over their music their image and i feel like that's how we ended up losing a boogie i feel like he went from being you know a street wrong snick to a like rock star and i'm like whoa how did we get here because this is not giving dtb this is not giving jungle like this is not the a boogie i know this is not the a boogie with the hoodie that i know this is not you know what i'm saying so this project that he dropped or whatever it's considered i like it okay i like it and i'm here for it, it definitely gives throwback a boogie uh, i've been listening to rod wave's new album nostalgia it's 21 songs or uh, is it 21 songs no it's actually 18 songs and then he has three videos on here but um he's doing a i don't know if he's going on tour but Leslie told me he has a concert in New York at the beginning of November. I won't be able to make it, so I'm not sure if he's coming to Houston, but I love Rod Wave. Like, everything about him, I'm like, oh my god, he is so fire. Like, when you listen to his music, it's certain music you can listen to out loud in the car and headphones. Like, Rod Wave gives, like, the way I like, the way that I enjoy listening to his music is putting headphones in and closing my eyes and actually like listening to what he's saying feel what he's saying like his music is just so like oh my god i love it so if you guys haven't listened to this album give it a listen i haven't listened to the whole thing yet but by next week's vlog i should have listened to the whole thing so i'll give you guys an update there um Nas dropped an album it's called magic three <laughs> one thing about Nas is he like the fuck good okay like that is one man that uh, his looks got better with time but Nas's album is 15 songs and he has like Lil Wayne on it is Lil Wayne his only feature that's what it's saying here so we'll see what this is hitting for and then I have also been listening to Diddy's new album it's cool so far but it's a lot like I don't know what it is about albums where there's so many artists on it that I just feel like 
it's too overwhelming. I don't know if it's just me. Like DJ Khaled's albums, I have to let it marinate for a bit because it's just too much for me. But I'm going to give it a listen through the whole thing and let you guys know what I think. He has so many people on here. Summer Walk. I was surprised to see Dawn Richard on here. Dawn Richard making the band Dawn Richard. I'm like, okay, sis. Josie, Jacquee, Summer Walker, French Montana, The Weeknd. They were saying that this is The Weeknd's last uh, feature of his career. So we'll see. Justin Bieber, Ty Dolla Sign, Mary J. Blige, Tiana Taylor, Jeremiah, John Legend, Babyface. So many people are here. So I'm going to finish listening to that album. And then the last album I've been listening to uh, that I downloaded is Cleo Soul. Love her music too. Once again, her music gives me, you have to put your headphones and close your eyes and actually feel and listen to what she's saying. So that's like new music that I've downloaded recently. Oh, bongos. <laughs> Go stupid. Like... <laughs> yeah i know i love me some cardi so yeah bongos as soon as it dropped i was like let me give it a listen. It definitely gives WAP part two, but I'm not mad at it. I feel like Cardi and Meg make beautiful music together. I love the music video. Cardi gave us looks. Cardi gave us choreo. Like, I don't remember the last time I saw Cardi dance or if I've ever seen Cardi dance before, but that video is fire. So, yeah, that's the music I've been listening to recently. Comment down below and let me know what music you guys have been listening to. If I should download anything. Oh, this song, Water by Tyla fire okay and i'll put a link to my apple profile down below so if you guys want to follow me on apple music y'all could be in my business y'all can see what music i'm listening to on a weekly basis if you want to see that you just go to your profile and you scroll down and apple makes these playlists so you have like new music favorites chill but this one here the dark blue one this is your friends mix so when you follow people on apple music it like puts all the music like your friends have been listening to in a playlist which i think is so cool so the more people you follow the more i guess like diverse your friends mix will be but ooh, okay but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed these tips i've been chatting for a while so yeah <laughs> so unfortunately that brings us to the end of this weekly vlog i really hope Excuse me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This vlog is lengthier than I expected it to be, but I really hope you guys enjoy all of the greatness that I included in this weekly vlog. I guess just to summarize, remember to always trust in God. Remember to always trust in yourself. Remember to always know that your steps are ordered and your destiny is already planned and to never allow negative thoughts negative people negative 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 <laughs> to ever disturb your peace your peace is protected your peace is beautiful your peace is untouchable always remember that another summary point of this vlog pest control is a scam okay i'm gonna say this once and for all it is a scam if i could go back in time i wouldn't have done it i would have just tried different natural i don't want to say natural but different ways of protecting my home from the creepy crawlies but that is a whole nother story for another day and thank you for all of the brands who sent me pr milk makeup josie moran and i did get another pr package i'll show you guys in next week's vlog because this vlog is already too long but i love you guys so much if you guys made it all the way until the end of this vlog comment down below with brown emojis a brown heart a teddy bear whatever emoji is brown Leave it down below in the comments so that I know who my girls and my boys who made it all the way until the end of this video are. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube can do its thing and circulate this video across this platform. Drop a comment. Let me know your favorite part of the, today's vlog, this week's vlog. Comment it down below. Make sure you guys have your bell notifications on so you don't miss any of my uploads. 
period i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao ciao